Welcome back, guys. This game is hilarious. Uh, as you will see, some of the dialogue, some of the things that happen is just... I, I laugh repeatedly. Uh, but in a good way. Um, so, in the blue here, we have Ash... Asho Goltsov. I um, probably completely butchered that. He's from Armenia. And his... 1v1 regular matched ELO is about a thousand, um, which not to sound mean, I was a little surprised by just seeing some of the things that happened, but is what it is. In oh, and he's playing as Khmer. In the uh, red here, we have Gregory Rainsborough playing as the Aztecs, and he is from Britain or UK, and he's also about a thousand ELO. As Blue loses his scout here. Blue says, you killed Johnny. Poor Johnny. Rip. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> so, Red sending Builders forward goes past one elephant and gets this elephant. And I was actually pretty impressed. He uses a second name. villager to block um, the elephant from getting any okay. hits on his primary villager. Um, I've done that before with my scout plenty of times, but uh, Jay? interesting idea to use villagers to do it and uh, keep your scout scouting around. So he scouts Blue's other elephant over here. So he collects this one elephant here, there's another elephant there, he knows there's an elephant here, but what's hilarious to me is he does not realize um, that this elephant is here the entire time. And Blue says, you stole my boar, talking about the elephant that he just took. Let's see what Red can see. Okay. Red has 10 bills. Blue has 10 bills as well. His scouting's a little limited, considering that he lost his scout pretty quick. Blue says, I have to say this. I hate you. <laughs> uh. Red does not respond. But he does come over with his eagle scout. It's going to get a few hits. Yeah, Bungie. Oh, and I didn't mention before, but the map, I think it's Haboob. Or however you say that. And now Red takes the other uh, elephant in the middle. This time, not blocking. Does garrison his villager. Pretty good timing on the finishing up that elephant just as he takes this one. And Blue, because he doesn't have his scout, has not noticed his two sheep over here. And interestingly enough, is not going to mill uh, these ostriches. He can't push them in, he lost his scout. He's just going to walk the distance to the mill here. Red building some defensive houses around his lumber camp. Wants to make sure he's protected. Got some sheep over here. Does not see these, uh, I guess they're goats. Does not see these two goats or these two goats yet. And here we go. The two villager lure. And blue seas. Tries to get a gate up. It's just a second too late. And Red steals Blue's second elephant. He says, I hate you, hate you even more. So, if Red were to scout his base, own base, a little bit better and see this last elephant here, which, I mean, actually, you can see it right there, but I guess he's not paying attention. Um... 
as he kills a goat as well. I wonder if that was intentional. Um, he would have all four elephants. He still has four sheep here, two goats here, two goats here, and he even stole these two goats as well. So really, Blue is left with his original sheep that he had, berries, and ostriches. That's it. So thank God for him, he's Khmer. Because Khmer probably have some of the best, if not the best, farms. Uh, not necessarily cost-wise, but just efficiency-wise. Fuck. But the Aztecs have a strong economy as well. Blue says, can I eat camel? I think he's referring to these wild camel over here. Which I do not think have any food. Yeah, no food. I don't think so. Red actually responding to that one. Yeah, kind of interesting that Red did not come over here to get his ostriches and his other boar. Or other elephant. We'll start collecting these goats over here now. Speed it up a little bit. Blue's starting to build some houses here on his wood line. Not a bad idea. It's Khmer. You can always hop into the houses. Blue says, it will be fair if you delete five vills or ten. Well, let's see how many vills. Red has 24. And blue has 20. So, okay. Four villager lead uh, for red. Red says, I have a confession. I took two sheep as well. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a, a troll right there. Look at all these goats. <gasps> but blue is in a feudal age. And uh, red is about three quarters of the way there. So blue actually got there pretty quick considering he didn't have hardly any food. Uh, red has f about 500 food in the bank. And blue, wow. Blue has 700 food in the bank. I'm telling you, Khmer Farms, insane. 700 food, and he has more villagers. Oh, no, wait. He doesn't have more villagers. He has slightly less villagers, but still. He has 23 villagers, and red has 25. So already catching up pretty close, neck and neck. And really kind of surprised that red didn't use all that additional food and, and resources that he has to really, like, put some, some pressure on blue yet. Blue's had a chance to just kind of quietly boom up on these farms. Now, there's no reason to build Khmer farms next to your TC necessarily um, because they don't have to drop off food at a TC or a mill. However, it's not a bad idea um, just for protection or you can build some houses nearby and they can hop in the houses. And blue, no boar, only a few sheep and some ostriches and some berries. And he's already on his way to castle, a third of the way. Wood, please. Blue says, so you stole two elephants. No, just two sheep. And he killed Johnny. You know what I think? I think Red thinks that these two elephants in the middle were his. Because I don't think he realizes his other boars Wood, down here. Please. Or his other elephants down here. He really doesn't. So he thinks he only stole one, one elephant. When he actually, he stole both elephants from Blue. And two sheep. Red adding in some uh, farms here. He has not clicked up to Castle yet. Right now, his score is 600, almost 700 points more than Blue. Granted, it's because Blue clicked up already to Castle, but jeez. The, the score difference and, and the, the resources that were allowed uh, is in Red's favor all the way. But Blue is inside of Castle Age now as these Walk. Eagle Scouts come in here. Blue starts fighting back with villagers and just hops in a house. It's hard to raid villagers whenever they just can go hide in a house. And currently, uh, 12 villagers on stone for Blue. 
That's a lot. Um, you gotta think he's probably gonna drop a castle here pretty soon. Has more than enough actually for a castle. That's 700 right now. Constructing a stable, probably wanna get some knights out, maybe some light cav. And I should say that whenever I cast a, a game, I usually speed through part of it just to kind of get a feel, just to make sure it's a, a good game. Um, so in this case, I do know some things that happen, like uh, um, the stealing of the elephants and stuff. But I don't know everything that happens because I don't watch the entire game until I cast it. Red also going on a stone here. And red chopping some Bye. straggler trees, because that's what we do. Blue kind of trying to make up his mind here with these villagers. Started sending them over to the right hand side of the base and decides now to send them to the left hand side. Getting attacked by five Eagle Scouts. Starts falling back, but sending out a knight. No attack upgrades and uh, no uh, bloodlines, but you know, these are just Eagle Scouts. They're not that strong. And that knight's doing a pretty dang good job cleaning up all five of these Eagle Scouts. And Blue's gonna kill, try and kill the spear as well. Nice. Red walling in that villager. He wants to keep that villager safe as he gets that barracks up. And I don't think Red realizes what Blue's about to do here because he's walling his resources in. Really, he should be running away ASAP. And Red's in castle now. But there's a couple knights out for blue. And a little late. A little late on the tower, buddy. I don't think that's going to be enough to stop this castle or even really do much damage. That's kind of just a waste of 125 stone. And if anything, probably should just fall in back and uh, build a castle behind your TC. Does get the tower up. Doesn't get a villager kill. In fact, loses a villager. Two villagers. Three villagers, because one over here as well. Gets that knight, though. And the villager count now is 28 for blue. And 25 for red. Just like that, blue has overcome his adversities. And is in the lead with villagers. As crazy as that is to believe. And even adding in... This beautiful ballista elephant. Comanche. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage versus the uh, Eagle Scouts, but the castle is handling that. And funny enough, at 23 minutes into the game, Blue is taking his first elephant. 23 minutes into the game. And it's actually not his elephant, it's one of Red's. Kind of funny. Poetic justice, maybe? Red did get a TC up over here, but Blue keeps sending in knights as Red is building some uh, battering rams. Red decided to get up some palisade walls, wants to stop the flow of reinforcements. Or at least make it uh, a little more difficult to send them over. Red building some spears and putting them inside of this ram here. Interesting building the mill now. Alright. We'll collect uh, Red's ostriches, ostriches as well. And that knight is stuck there. Red got the walls up over here. And the knight over here harassing these stone miners. We'll kill that stone miner. Maybe get another one. But nay. I think that was a waste of a farm. Yeah. Whoops. Went down before it was completely built. Red over here with two rams. A third ram coming up now. Blue sending over some villagers and a couple of knights. This castle is actually halfway down. 
Red gives a question mark. A lot of idle time for both sides. Seven idle bills for Red and seven for Blue. Blue says sorry network, so maybe some lag. And this castle is down to 500, 400, 300, 300. And a petard takes out the last round. I think if he had had that third ram a little sooner, or maybe added in this fourth one, Monte. that castle probably would have gone down. Still having to fight these pesky knights that come in here and harass. These eagle scouts are just not going to cut it. You need a little more. A little more oomph. As that... Knight lures a spear into castle fire, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe blue looked away for a second, but uh, ran right back into that spear to die together. True love. And the score is actually pretty even. Blue's actually in the lead. Like I said, he was down by almost 700 points at one time. Several petards being built, but uh, not being used. Five. No bob Maybe as a defense against uh, another ram push. And Red needs to be careful because this knight might get through here if he doesn't keep an eye on it. Adding in two more TCs over here. But really the build production is just not there yet. Blue with 42 villagers, red with 28. So really falling behind on the villager side, despite the scores being similar. And what is blue researching? Re creating man at arms. All right, all right. Good counter to Eagle Warriors or Eagle Monty. Scouts. A lot of idle villagers here. Maybe Red going to build a castle. Yep. We'll build a defensive castle. Ooh, and that knight gets through with that well placed petard. Let's see what blue can see. Okay, so he's still scouting out red's uh, additional base. And these men in arms doing good work. Five batards built. Comanche? A partially built archery range. And Red really needs to get his economy rocking and rolling if he wants to keep up with Blue. Blue heavy on stone, probably gonna drop another castle. But. Sending four villagers here. We'll build a watchtower to force Red off his wood. Well placed. Red deciding to add in a monastery. Some defense against knights and uh, Khmer elephants. And Blue just walked past these rams here, spotted them, and is sending his men at arms yeah, for it. And the villagers over here. Looks like probably another castle. Yep, 12 villagers building a castle. Let's we'll see if Ray can see it, and if he responds. He does not see it. Right now, all he's doing is just attacking this knight. He does not see 
that a castle, even with this half-built archery range, does not see this castle. Now he does. Will he respond? Will he respond? Still building that archery range. Ooh, one villager goes down, two villagers goes down. Three villagers go down. Red is now at 35. 34. 33, 32. Rapidly dropping. 32 villagers. Did get a big shot with this Maganel on these minute but. arms. Nicely done there. Uh, let's compare blues. Blue's at 53 villagers. Adding in a ballista elephant here. Trying to force red off of gold over here. And red coming out here to hopefully farm in peace. Interesting. Red comes just barely out of range, destroys one Pitar with a Maganel, and then immediately falls back. Red with a Monk will get a conversion on the Ballista Elephant. We'll see if he can bring that elephant away from the castle before it dies. And he will. Lewis building siege workshops sees those farms that Red was hoping to have as a sneaky economy. Another villager goes down. Still consistently losing villagers from this castle here. This castle got back up to a thousand hit points and he stopped repairing it. Red sending his converted ballista elephant and oh, his priest over here. Blue adding in his own monastery. Possibly to convert back things. Blue says, you stole my piggy. Uh, maybe he's talking about this conversion on the elephant. He kept referencing his elephants as boar as well, so maybe he's just confused as to what's a pig and slash boar and what's an elephant. Red sending one ram out. Blue defends with petard. Does not get the kill though. And red kind of trickling in these rams. Really with rams or even petards, you want to be... Uh, as fast and effective as possible whenever you trickle them in it gives you your opponent a chance to take them out Red really wants to get this castle up Builders getting shot by blues castle This castle a little over halfway up or down I should say And Red tries to get a conversion, does not. Instead, loses a monk to the castle fire. Blue with four tards inside the castle right now. And right now, Blue has 57 villagers. Red has 28. Red's got to get those numbers up and have some kind of economy if he wants to survive. But uh, it's already not looking too great. Over here we got some whoa low boys converting <laughs> villagers to something to kill a priest or monk. They look like priests. And look at that. Blue coming in here with impunity. He's got freaking petards. Almost takes out that castle. Ooh. Blue not paying attention. Loses two scorpions. This castle down to 400 hit points now. But still standing. This one at 11,000. 
loses these farms over here. And that's a lot of Maganels. He's gonna get pushed off of gold here. Loses a builder, loses another, it loses three builders actually. And Red says, alas, that castle drop. And then good game. GG. So from I have a confession and stealing blues uh, elephants to saying, alas, that castle drop. You know, I've been lamed before, and the vast majority of the time if I've been lamed, you know, Check. you get a little tilted, maybe. Um, but if you can pull through and win, that, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. I'm not going to pretend like I haven't lamed people before myself. I definitely have. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game, and uh, we'll catch you later.